Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got something really interesting. Finally, Tyler Mannion, the vice president of the IFBB and a judge at a Mr. Olympia, posted a breakdown, a recap of the top two from the Mr. Olympia, Samson Dauda versus Hari Chopin, and he gives us basically his explanation of why Samson won this show. Now, look, guys, even though Tyler Mannion is a IFBB professional judge, a head judge at many shows, even though he's the vice president and that he has been surrounded with all the top judges and top people in the IFBB, we don't necessarily have to agree with everything he says. However, me personally, I really enjoy his breakdowns of the shows because he really points out everything about this guy's physique and the way he sees it. And I gotta say, I agree with most things. Now, of course, he has seen these guys in person from the judges uh, panel, from the first row, and we're basing this only on, this, uh, on these photos. And I gotta say that this video, these photos, actually screenshots here, are very high quality. So we can see basically exactly what is going on. But let's check out what Tyler had to say, and let's see how accurate his assessment, his view is, and why exactly... Samson won the Mr. Olympia versus Hari Japan. Let's start with the frontable bicep. Let's hear first a short version of what Tyler had to say. Samson's front double has improved. His arms have come up considerably. He has nice V taper going into a nice small waist. His waist control and ab control was very good at this show. Samson obviously has some of the best legs and the best quads in the open division. Very good overall balance with this pose. Could his lats be a little bit more dramatic? Yes, but I think that's increased dramatically. Hottie always has great legs from the front that are very conditioned. His legs overall were a little bit downsized. All right, that's the sum of it. If you guys want to hear the whole thing, go to his Instagram, Tyler's Instagram, and check it out. But basically what he says here, I mean, there is nothing to disagree with. Samson does have a really good weight taper, really good legs, probably the biggest legs in the IVB Pro League right now. And uh, his arms did improve, they were bigger. Lads, sure, could be thicker, but it also improved. And Hadi, he said also that Hadi's uh, front of bicep is a very strong pose for him. He has great arms, great lats, uh, great everything, really great weight taper, but his legs were not as big as usual. And I definitely can see that. I didn't really notice it so far, but now I'm looking at it. And yeah, Hardy definitely did have bigger legs before. As you can see right here, even in the Arnold Classic earlier this year, even though Samson's legs were always a strong point for him, Hardy's legs, even in comparison to Samson, were bigger, rounder, fuller. Not just in comparison to Samson's legs, but in comparison to Hardy's upper body as well. So for some reason, Hardy definitely lost the fullness in the legs. Did he lose size? Maybe because he was chasing conditioning at the last moment and did a bunch of cardio. I don't know what was the thing. I think he was mainly flat. And you will see that in, in some other uh, body parts as well. But yeah, because of this and because of the overall just the size of Samson and like uh, the fullness in, in the legs and like the, the pronounced uh, V taper X frame, I do think Samson wins this one rather easily. Now let's go to the front last spread and first, of course, let's hear what Tyler had to say. This is Hottie's weakest pose. Waist obviously looks wider in this pose. You can see he still needs more thickness to the chest. The overall roundness to his outer arms and shoulders is very good, but when you compare it to someone like Samson, you see the difference here. Samson has very, very round and thick and full outer arms and shoulders. His chest is extremely thick. You see striation in detail in his chest. Very, very dramatic V taper. He really gets his lats out very well here. The quads are crazy full. We saw clear separation this time. The balance from the top to bottom makes this one of his strongest poses, in my opinion. All right, very good points here. So Samson's shoulders and arms were really big, really round, a lot bigger and fuller and rounder than Hadi's. Now, the thing with the heart is chest. Tyler says he needs more thickness to the chest. I don't think that's it. I think Hardy has a great chest, but I did notice this, and I said it in my videos, but I think it's a flatness issue. I think Hardy has a great chest, but here, for some reason, it was down in size. And I think there was some sort of uh, asymmetry. One of his pecs looked like it, it was injured or 
Or maybe it was a cramp that was happening very often, I don't know, but I think it was mainly the flatness issue if he was full in the chest, and overall if he was full, I don't think we would notice this. And then the same thing with the size of the legs, like in the front double bicep, and also Tyler mentions that uh, Samson used to have troubles with his lower belly uh, before, but at this show it was uh, perfect, I think it was still noticeable a little bit, Hadi's uh, midsection was better, you know, he didn't have this bulge in the lower abs, but uh, overall, I mean, Samson with his freaking crazy X-frame size, fullness to the chest, shoulders, arms, and legs that are bigger than Hadi's, I think he wins this pose easily. Now let's go with the next pose. Next up is the side chest pose. When we look at Hadi, one of his weaknesses, I would say, is he needed more size to his legs from the side. We saw that Hadi's chest was not as detailed this time around. It's not the front lat spread, it's the side chest for Samson's strongest pose. Arms and shoulders, very full, very big, very round. Chest, extremely full. Side leg, very dramatic. This pose is a pose where I think you see the massive size difference between these two competitors. So for me, another clear pose for Samson to make this three poses to zero. Again, nothing to disagree with here. I mean, especially the side leg of Samson was just much, much bigger than Hadi's. And just overall fullness through the chest and shoulders and arms and overall size. I mean, the Samson in the side chest really looks like Ronnie Coleman back in the day. That's the pose in which he does look the most impressive. That's probably his best pose. Like Tyler said, along with the front lat spread, I think this one is won by Samson easily. And that's 3-0 to zero once again for Samson. Let's go with the next one. Next up is the back double bicep pose. Samson brought this pose up a lot. You see from the back, he has crazy hamstrings. They were separated. They were detailed. The back of his arms and shoulders improved a lot. We see all the detail and separation in his arms. His shoulders are the best they ever looked. He improved the taper and dramatically improved the depth and thickness of his back. Now here for Hadi, it was probably his most improved pose from last year's Olympia to the Arnold. We didn't see the same as we saw in Samson, the roundness and the separation and the fullness with the shoulders and the arms. And then the back itself, he was actually a little bit soft. His leg width and his hamstring detail definitely could have been better. We've seen it better before, and this was a pose where we saw that Hadi, I don't think, was at 100% of his best. All right, can't argue with this one neither. I mean, Hadi definitely wasn't at his best. I mean, he was so much better in the back double bicep at the Arnold Classic. He was shredded, man. He was peeled. Like, the glutes were dug out. The hamstrings were showing details that he has never shown before at that moment, and like the lower back was also dry, it was lean, you could even see a Christmas tree, which is very unusual for Hadi, and I thought if he showed up like this in the Mr. Olympia, he would have won, now looking at Samson, maybe he would win, because it was actually a tie at a pre-judging, and then Samson won by, I think, three points at the final, so I think if Hadi was like this, the outcome would have been different potentially, or at least it would be closer, so Hadi, I have to agree with Tyler, did not bring his absolute best by far, not even close. I said it before, it was very obvious. Actually, the pre-judging because of how much Hadi was off, I thought he was in third. But Derek was off as well. If Derek was the same he was like last year at the Mr. Olympia, I think uh, Hadi would be third. But uh, Derek was off as well, luckily for, for Hadi. Overall, Samson was bigger, better. His hamstrings were freaking detailed. His leg width from behind was insane. I mean, nobody has this size of the legs from behind. And not, definitely not Hadi, nor details in the hamstrings. Hadi's glutes were a little bit drier, but not that much. Samson's glutes were okay this time around. His depth in the back and like the shoulders and details in the shoulders that Hadi doesn't have. Details in the arms as well. The difference between brachialis and triceps and biceps. Everything was just so much better. So based on Tyler, Samson wins this one easily, and I think so for sure. So for now, Samson is winning 4-0. to zero. What is this? Is Samson going to win with all the poses? Let's hear what Tyler has to say about the back lat spread. The back lat spread is one of Hottie's strongest poses. Even though his back looked softer than normal in his back double bicep, the amount of thickness that he really carries in his back shines through even when he's not at his best very very wide lats very thick now for samson again lower body is in very big separated look great the back itself i thought he was very comparable with 
not only Hardy, but also Derek as well in this pose. But it still feels like there's something more there that he could give himself more of that width in that illusion. I gave this pose to Hardy to make it four poses to one. All right, now this one, uh, Tyler gave this one to Hardy. Do I agree with this? I mean, maybe, yeah, by, by a little. Very, very little. Like, yeah, he has more width to the, to the lats, but then the lower body, the size of the legs from behind, the details in the hamstrings, and the details in the back as well. Like the traps, the, the, the rear delts, the lats, everything was just a little bit more exaggerated on Samson. Even the glutes that are not more conditioned than Hadi, the way he's hitting this pose with, uh, you know, pushing his hips outwards, the glutes are like very, very low inserted. It kind of reminds me of Ronnie Coleman. It just looks more impressive to me, man. And I mean, yeah, again, Hadi has more width to the lats, like the lower back. So, yeah, I get it. Give it to him, this one pose, but it's very, very close. I wouldn't be sure who to give this one to. Let's check out the side tricep pose now. So Samson in side tricep pose, I think, was just doing himself a little bit of a disservice with his leg placement. For Hadi, we see all the detail in his midsection. His chest is still striated. The side leg shows off the conditioning. It's still very balanced upper and lower body here. I think because of the detail that was shown in this pose, I gave this pose to Hadi to make it four poses to two. All right, Hadi is slowly coming back, 4-2-2 two, two for Samson right now. Uh, do I see this one the way uh, the way Tyler saw it? Sure, yeah, I give this one to Hadi as well. Again, because of the details in the, in the chest, in the in the uh, abs, and also the, the legs are looking drier than Samson's here. If Samson did it the same way Hadi is doing it, maybe it would look different, but who knows if Samson can do it that way. With all his size, I don't know if he can actually grab the arms behind his back uh, when he's hitting it the, the conventional way. So he did it this way, Dorian Yates style. It looked good, but not as good as Hadi's. So yeah, Hadi won this one for sure. Next pose is uh, abs and thighs. Samson looked great this year in his ab and thigh. The abs were clear, the lines were deep. He has great quads. Overall, he has very nice V-taper flowing into that nice tight waist here. However, he's going against Hadi, whose ab and thigh pose is, you know, the best in the IFBB Pro League. All right, so abs and thighs, there isn't really much that needs to be said here, even though they put this photo here when uh, Samson was still pulling a vacuum and wasn't flexing his abs the way Hadi was. And uh, Samson's uh, abs and thighs was much improved this year. You know, the abs actually were looking really good, but it's really not necessary to show it. Even though it's improved, you know, how these abs and thighs is the best abs and thighs in the business right now. You can argue that maybe Andrew Jack has a better one, but I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe maybe Andrew from the Texas Pro, but at the Mr. Olympia, how these abs and thighs was definitely the best one, even though his legs are down in size. Yeah, he wins this one against Samson, so that's 4-2-3. Uh, how is coming back nicely, and now... We come to the last pose, most muscular, a very strong pose for Hadi, but we all know that Samson won the Mr. Olympia and it's 4-3 to three right now, so if Hadi won this one, there would be no explanation for why Hadi lost the Mr. Olympia, but let's hear what Tyler actually has to say about this one. It was a pose that surprised me because normally Hadi is very, very tough to beat in this pose because of the detail through his chest, because of the detail in the midsection, but Samson finally nailed his conditioning. The chest is bursting full. We're still seeing striations. The size and the roundness of the shoulders and the arms. We see the detail and still the separation to his abs. Plus, with his lower body and being as big and separated as it was. It's the most muscular pose for a reason. And this displayed how big Samson truly was at this show. Made me give Samson this pose five poses to three. All right, interesting. So Samson won most muscular as well. This is something where you can disagree with Tyler. Maybe you prefer Hadi's physique. I can see more details in the chest and in the in the abs, but the flatness in the chest. And as you can see, one pack is definitely smaller than the other. But Tyler never pointed that out, so I guess it didn't bother him. As far as the shoulders, even though Hadi has those oily delts, they were bigger than Samson's. And they also had some separation, some muscularity as well. Arms, Samson for sure if you ask me, but the abs, that's Hadi all day long. As far as the legs, if Hadi was his usual self with his crazy freaking around and big legs, 
Maybe he would have beaten him in this pose, but Samson's legs here were just rounder, bigger, maybe even more dug out. Now, again, you can prefer Hadi in this one because of conditioning, but Samson, like Tyler says, it's called most muscular for a reason, and Samson was by far the most muscular guy on this stage, and he kind of dwarfed Hadi in majority of the poses, especially this one. So I understand the reasoning behind all of Tyler's decisions, it's all very logical and thoroughly explained. If you haven't already, go and check out the whole video, because there's a lot of details that I cut out for this video to make it shorter simply, but the most important parts are, are in, I think, so I think this is, a, this is a very good explanation for why Samson won the Mr. Olympia against Hadi, and I have to agree with basically almost everything Tyler said here. However, if you guys think something was off, you think uh, Tyler was wrong about something, feel free to tell me down below in the comment section. Let's talk about this. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. If you want to show me some love, you can buy some of the hostile supplements and use the code EVAN for a 10% discount. And also, if you're looking for coaching, a code that is very affordable and very available to you guys, you can DM me on Instagram, we can talk about that as well. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. See you soon, all the best and bye-bye.